Hello, welcome back to Scaffold Design for Scaffolders. I'm Alejandro Garcia and today I will solve the exercises I gave you at the end of lesson 6. If you haven't solved them yet, please try again and then come back. First, I will make a quick, quick review of the previous video. We discuss about the first moment of area. It's basically an area times a distance. And we are going to use it to calculate the centroid or center of gravity of complex areas. For example, if we have this T shape, we will calculate the centroid according to a point of reference, in this case, the origin. <clears throat> and the centroid, as you know, is just the center, we say the point of equilibrium or center of gravity of a shape. So if, if I have this notebook and I put my finger right in the center, it's going to stay in equilibrium. That's the centroid. And the second moment of area, it measures the efficiency of a cross section to resist bending. Before we had area times distance. Now, for the second moment of area, we will have area times distance to the second. And as we discussed last week, to support a load in bending, it's much better the rectangle in vertical than having on flat, because the second moment of area, bh cubed divided by Earth, is higher. So what does it mean? That the more area or more mass a section or a beam has as far as possible from the axis of reference, in this case, just let's consider axis Y, the better it will resist bending. That's why the I beams are so effective. You have big flanges on top of bottom, very far apart. So you obtain a very high second moment of area. And for the tube, we calculated that the second moment of area equals pi over 64 times the external diameter to the fourth minus the internal diameter to the fourth. Now let's go to the exercises. Number one. Calculate the centroid. So it's divided in a square, a triangle, and we have to subtract the whole, that circle. And we are going to use the same equations we saw before for the centroid. So on the y-axis, we are going to add the area times the distance to O and divide by total area. Let's go with y. Starting from left to right with the square. The area is going to be 9 times 9. And the distance from the centroid is going to be here, it's going to be 4.5. And then the triangle. Remember that for a triangle, it's one third of the base and one third of the height. So it's going to be around here. The area is one half, the base times the height, so it's again nine times nine, and the distance is going to be nine plus nine divided by three, 12 in total. And now we have to subtract the whole. The area we know is 
pi over 4 times the diameter squared and the distance is going to be 4 as is shown already and we divide this by the total area so again the square is 9 times 9 plus the triangle one half of 9 times 9 and we remove the whole so pi divided by 4 times the diameter the square <clears throat> and that's the total of 2.97 so let's say it's 3.0 and the same for set. Oh, sorry. That's my mistake. This is 5.97. And this is 6.0. And for set, again, we have the area for the square, 9 times 9. But now we are going vertically. But the mean square is the same, is 4.5. So for the square is roughly here. The area of the triangle, 1 half, 9 times 9, base time height. And now, is one third of the height, so it's three. And we remove the whole. So the area pi over four times four square, and the distance is going to be seven. And again, the area as before, nine times nine plus the triangle, one half, nine times nine. And here we remove the circle. And that's now, yes, 2.97, so 3.0. Okay, let's go with the second. Calculate the second moment of area for the type 3 scaffold tube. <laughs> if you remember, the second moment of area of a full circle is pi over 64 times the diameter to the fourth. If we want to calculate the value for a tube, <clears throat> we just calculate the value for the whole circle and remove the second moment of area of the whole. So we have pi over 64 times the external diameter to the fourth minus the internal diameter to the fourth. <clears throat> and it's, it's going to be the same for, for any axis you consider on the center because obviously it's a circle. So it's the same in any direction. Pi over 64 times external diameter is 48.3 millimeters to the fourth. I will add another bracket here. And the internal diameter is going to be 48.3 minus 6.4. So that's 41.9 millimeters to the fourth. And that's one hundred and fifteen thousand eight hundred and fifty six millimeter to the fourth or 
with a smaller number is 11.6 centimeter to the fourth meter. And that's exactly the same value you will find on uh, T20's table. <clears throat> now, the third. Calculate the second moment of area for a universal beam 127 by 76 by 13 profile. <clears throat> Remember, for a rectangle, the second moment of area on the centroid is bh cubed divided by 12. And we are going to apply Steiner's theorem to calculate the second moment of area of the whole section. We are going to consider the axis on each different uh, rectangle inside the, the full section. And let's start with y. <clears throat> I will start with the flanges. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the beam is symmetrical, so the top and bottom flange will provide the same value. I mean, they have the same area and the same distance from y. So I will just multiply by 2. And now, <clears throat> considering just the, the top flange, the, the second moment of area on the center, B is 76. <clears throat> times 7.6 to the cube divided by 12. Now the area. That's 76 times 7.6. And the distance is going to be half of 111.8 plus half of 7.6. And that's 59.7. 59.7 squared. So that's for the top and bottom flanges. Now we have to add the web. B, in this case, is 4 times. 111.8 cube divided by 12. And in this case, since the y axis is already on the centroid of the web, the distance will be zero, so we don't add any other numbers. I mean, this will be the area times zero, so zero. <clears throat> and that's a total of. Mm -hmm. yeah. Four million five eighty eight thousand six hundred and two one millimeter to the fourth four in centimeter square fourth sorry one two three four four hundred and fifty 8.9 centimeter to the fourth. Yes. <clears throat> and for the set axis, <clears throat> now the set axis crosses the centroid of the three rectangles, both flanges and the web. So in this case, we are only adding up the second moment of area of each section. Because the distance from the, I mean, the, the set of each sex of each uh, rectangle and the global set are the same. So the, the distance will be zero. Now, as before, we have two flanges, so I'm just going to multiply by two. 
And in this case, the second moment of area, base. Remember, the base is parallel to the axis of reference, so my base here is 7.6 times the height, in this case, 76, divided by 12. And for the web, we have the base 111.8 times the height, 4 to the third divided by 12. And that's five hundred and fifty six thousand six hundred and thirty two point five millimeter to the fourth or fifty five point seven centimeters to the fourth. Okay. Now, let's do the fourth one. Calculate the second moment of area for a steel ladder beam. So, steel ladder beam is fabricated with type 4 scaffold tubes at 305 millimeter spacing. Now, Calculate the second moment of area. Remember, it's telling us how efficient a section is against bending. Now, bending is going to be supported by the top and the bottom cords. So we, we are just going to consider the top and bottom cords, and we are not considering the vertical tubes. <clears throat> and remember, the equation for the tube is pi over 64 times the external diameter to the fourth minus the internal diameter to the fourth. And again, we are going to apply a stainer. Starting with y, we have As before, we have a symmetrical section with two equal chords. So I'm just going to multiply times two the value of one of the chords. We have pi over 64. Let me calculate here just to make it easier. So that's going to be we calculated it last week, but for practice, that's uh, 48.3 to the fourth minus 40.3 to the fourth, and that's equal, if I find it, Okay, that's a seven. So, so yeah, one hundred and thirty seven thousand six hundred and seventy five point eight. So let's put it here. Second moment of area on the center for this tube six seven five point eight. Now, the area uh, for the circle, if you remember, is 557 millimeters square. Well, for the circle, sorry, for, for the tube, for the type 4 tube. And the distance was going to be 305 millimeters divided by 2. Square. And that's quite a big number two six one eight two eight one four.
or in centimeter 2618.3 centimeter to the fourth. Now with set. In this case, as before, the set axis crosses the centroid of both chords, so we only add up the second moment of area of each chord. So we have twice the second moment of area of one chord. So it's And that's or if you prefer centimeters to get a smaller number, twenty seven point five centimeters to the fourth. Okay, so that's the second moment of area of a steel ladder beam. Now Someone may be thinking, but is this correct? I mean, it's too simple, or how do we know? Or... So I'm just going to do an extra exercise. Number five. Calculate the second moment of area for a layer 450 aluminum beam. In this case, it's made of aluminum, but it doesn't affect because the second moment of area depends only on the uh, dimensions. So we have two plate four tubes. I mean, they are made of aluminum, but the same dimensions, 48.3 with four millimeter thickness. And the center of each um, of the cores are 400 millimeter apart. So as before, the second moment of area of the tube doesn't change. And let's calculate with the stainer the value. On Y. Same thing as before. We have twice the same core. So we already know second moment of area on the of the tube oh, sorry 137 375.8 the area uh, since I'm going to check it with layers guide I'm just going to use the exact uh, area of a tube so it's a slightly smaller is 500 and 56.69 millimeter square times the distance. So it's half of 400, 200. And that gives 4481.0551 millimeter square or in centimeter square, 4,481.06 centimeter square. Yeah. Now, if you check on layers guide, they say that I equals 4,481.06. Centimeter square. With the fourth, not, not a square. Now on set. For set, we have, as before, the axis crossing all the centroids, so they don't have any distance above the set axis. So it's again two times the second moment of area of each tube. So again, two times 
137. And it's exactly the same value we obtain for the ladder beam. Three five one point six, and that's in centimeter square twenty five twenty seven point five centimeter to the fourth. Okay, so that's all for today. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you had all the exercises correct. If you didn't, please try again or Leave me comments below with any questions you may have. And please don't forget to like the video below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again. Bye bye.